Hey everyone, I want to go over a couple of things in this video. The first thing is reviewing and correcting an error that I made on the previous videos I did on this inverter. The other thing is to give an update on my BYD batteries and do a simplistic capacity test on them. Let's get started. A viewer pointed out that when I calculated the efficiency of this inverter, I measured the output of this charger. That's incorrect, and I should have been measuring directly at the output of the inverter. I'm going to get my kilowatt meter and run my coffee pot through a brewing cycle so that I can measure the efficiency of this inverter correctly. Let's do that now. Okay, so I have my coffee pot set up and ready to go. Some people may say, why bother reviewing this? But I want this channel to be fun and entertaining. More importantly though, I want to provide information that is accurate. I'm not too proud to admit when I make a mistake. And when I do, I want to do everything I can to correct it. So, I have my kilowatt meter plugged in, and I have my multimeter ready to go. The power coming out of the inverter divided by the power going into the inverter times 100 will give us our efficiency in percent. So let's see what we get. Okay, I have my kilowatt meter ready to go. Let's turn on the coffee pot. All right, so now I want to take my multimeter and get a voltage reading. We are at 26.78. All right, now I want to get an amperage reading, and we are at 25.85. All right, so let's go ahead and do the math on that right now. 26.9 volts times 25.85 is 695 watts. Our kilowatt meter is floated up to right around 598. So we'll do 598 divided by 695. And that gives us an efficiency, and multiply it by 100. So 86.04% efficient, which isn't too bad for <laughs> considering the price. As far as my BYD batteries go, I have been slowly charging and discharging them over the past few weeks and I've found that the weaker cells start to wander at about 27 volts on the high end. I have the module sitting at 27 volts right now, so let's see what the voltages are of the individual cells. All right, so I have one of the modules here, so let's go ahead and take some voltage readings. I'm gonna start with the overall module voltage, and that's at 27.05 volts. So let's go through these and see what kind of voltages we get in the individual cells. 3.34 for cell number one, 3.34 for cell number 2, 3.34 for cell number 3, 3.61 for cell number 4, 3.34 for cell number 5, 3.34 for cell number 6, 3.34 for cell number 7, and 3.34 for cell number 8. So you can see that cell number 4 really wandered off, and so that's really the upper limit of the voltage that I want to run these at without any kind of balancing or a BMS. So now I'm all set up to do my capacity test. I have these two fans as my load. I have my kilowatt meter to monitor the wattage coming out of the inverter, and it'll also log the kilowatt hours over time. I have my multimeter to get a live reading on the battery side of the inverter. I have a voltmeter here that's gonna measure all the way down to 23 volts, and then I'm gonna use this phone as a stopwatch, and basically I'm just gonna turn the fans on and see how long these batteries will run it before it hits 23 volts. I know this test isn't super scientific, but it should give me a pretty good idea of what these batteries are capable of producing, and I do plan to replicate this test once I add BMSs to these modules, and then again after I add active balancing to see how much improvement I see when I add those. I'm thinking this test is going to take quite a while, so let's get started. Alright, so I got everything set up here. You can see I have this voltmeter in the back, the kilowatt meter here, and my stopwatch. I'm going to turn on the fans and get a live reading from the batteries and compare that to what I get on the kilowatt meter. And then I'm going to turn this over to the long-term metering where, where it will tell me the kilowatt hours that I've drawn from my batteries. So here we go. All right, so it looks like we've level up, leveled off at about 136 watts. Let's see what we're drawing from the batteries. 27.04 volts. Our amperage is 5.99, not 6. All right, so I'm gonna start this stopwatch. All right, so we're about 15 and a half hours into this test. The kilowatt meter says that we have drawn 2.07 kilowatt hours from the batteries. My voltmeter back here is at 26.4. All right, so we just passed the 24 hour mark and the kilowatt meter is saying that we've drawn 3.24 kilowatts from the batteries. Not kilowatts, kilowatt hours. Uh, let's take a live reading. 26.22 volts, still right around 6 amps. 
little over six amps. It's not too bad. I'll check back in in a little while. All right, we are 30, about to cross 40 hours into this test. We have drawn 5.34 kilowatt hours from the batteries. Uh, we're at 26.1 volts on my little meter there. One more thing, uh, this is really starting to show off that flat discharge curve of lithium iron phosphate. I, it's been at 26.3 to 26.1 volts for hours, and we're just drawing more and more power out of this thing, and that voltage just isn't dropping. All right, about to cross the 64 hour mark. We've pulled 8.55 kilowatt hours from the battery. I went through and measured all of the cells in all four modules, and every cell is between 3.24 and 3.26 volts. 77 hours in, 10.36 kilowatt hours out, batteries are at 25.8 volts. 94 hours in, 12.58 kilowatt hours drawn from the battery. I went through and checked all of the cells and they are at 3.18 except for two outliers in this module here right in front. And one of those cells are at 3.19 and one's at 3.16. Well, it appears that I broke my timer. It ran out of time. So I'm at 13.34 kilowatt hours. I'm at 25.2 volts. We have drawn 13.79 kilowatt hours from our batteries. The batteries are at 24.8 volts, and I'm starting to notice some of the cells really moving now. One of the cells is at 2.93 volts, so I might not make it to 23 volts on the state of charge. I might have to stop it sooner. I'm basically just gonna monitor, and when I see a cell hit 2.5 volts, I'm gonna call the test complete. All right, everyone, I have officially ended this test. We did not get to 23 volts even, but we had a cell hit 2.5 volts. So we drew 14.28 kilowatt hours from these batteries, and that is on the output side of the inverter. So that means that you have to calculate the inefficiency of the inverter into what it actually drew from the batteries. If we take 14.28 kilowatt hours and divide it by the efficiency of the inverter, which was 86%, we end up with 16.6 kilowatt hours from these batteries. And I have four of these modules, so that comes out to over four kilowatt hours from each one of these modules. And I'm super impressed. I did not expect them to perform this well. I can't wait to get an active balancer on these because I think they're gonna perform even better. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.